Okay, we've looked at a couple of annotations so far. We've seen the required annotation and we've seen the auto-wired annotation. In this tutorial, we're going to look at some of the JSR250 annotations. Uh, JSR250 is actually a, it's a standard, the Java specification request, that defines all the standard annotations that uh, would apply across different technology and different frameworks. Uh, Spring supports some of the uh, standard JSR250 annotations. Uh, we're going to look at some of them in this tutorial. Uh, the first uh, annotation that we're going to look at is the at resource annotation. So let me remove this uh, couple of annotations that we've added in the earlier tutorial. So uh, at resource is another annotation that we can use to inject dependencies into uh, a member variables of a class. Now uh, here I have the center member variable of the circle class and uh, I have three point objects, point A, point B, and point C. Now let's say I want to add uh, point C uh, dependency to the center. Now uh, the other two you know, uh, beans are not going to be used. I'm just going to use the point C bean to inject dependency into my circle class. So what I can do is I can use the at resource annotation. Now this at resource annotation is going to be from Java extra annotation because note this is a Java specification request JSR uh, standard. So this is going to be from Java extra annotation. This is not specific to Spring. Now this at resource annotation can do a dependency injection by name, a standard dependency injection by name. So all I need to do is in order to inject point C to this center member variable, I just need to say name equals point C. It's as simple as that. So it's actually doing injection by name. So it's going to look for a bean which has the name as point C. It's going to inject that. So I'm not specifying the dependency here. I'm specifying this, not using auto word, by using at resource. At resource is a JSR250 annotation. So it's from Java extra annotation dot resource. So this is the uh, this is the annotation that I'm using here, and it's going to just pick it up by name. Now let me save and run this to make sure it picks up point C. There you go. It's picked up 20 zero, which is point C. Now there are a few uh, intelligent uh, defaults that this at resource goes for. Now if I do not specify the name, what this is going to do is it's going to look for uh, a bean with the same name as the member variable itself. Now it's, if I define this as center, I'll save this and I'll save this, it's going to pick that up because it has the same name as the member variable itself. I have not defined a name, so by default it goes for the name of the member variable itself. Now let's run this. Oops, there is an error. Ah, this is because point C is used in uh, triangles. So you have a dependency to point C and I went ahead and changed this, so that's the reason why. Let me just comment this for now so that there's no error. So if I run this Again, there you go. It's picked up the bean, which has the same name as the member variable itself. So resource is the way in which we can have use annotations to do dependency injection by name. So you can specify the name and then add the bean as a dependency. Or if you do not specify the name property here, it just takes the name of the member variable itself. That way it's similar to auto-wired um, by name and uh, it picks up the bean with the name as the member variable. Okay, so resource is one of the several annotations that comes with JSR250. I'm going to show you a couple of other annotations which is uh, related to the init and destroy of the life cycle. In earlier, we used uh, the init method and the destroy method. We use a couple of ways in which we can run methods when the bean is being initialized and uh, when the bean is about to be destroyed. So we can do the same thing using annotations also. So now let's say I have an init method here. Uh, 
let's call it initialize let me give it a specific name initialize circle okay so i'm i'm not having any naming convention for the method itself so i will use a system dot out dot println net of circle okay so i want this method to be called when this circle bean itself is being initialized and uh, i will have a similar method for destroying destroy circle and then print for destroy of circle so if i were configuring this using xml what i would do is i would have an init method and destroy method for the circle definition or I would have to implement the initializing bean and disposable bean interfaces and uh, specify the right name for the method. Now here I have a custom uh, method name and I'm not even entering the configuration in the XML. I can use the annotations for uh, the initializing and destroying the bean so that these methods get called. So the annotations are at post construct and at pre destroy so again the names are self explanatory um, this is something that gets executed after the bean has been initialized and this is something that gets executed just before the bean is destroyed now notice that the imports are again from java x to annotations because these are jsr250 annotations now this is all it takes to execute this method when the bean is about to be initialized and this when the bean is about to be destroyed. Now let me save and run this. There you go, the init is done and uh, drawing of circle. Of course the destroy is not happening here because I'm not, uh, I've not registered the shutdown hook. So let me uh, quickly do that as well. abstract application context and context start register shutdown hook and that's it now we should see the destruction call as well well there you go destroy has happened so uh, to summarize uh, we've learned three new annotations at resource which uh, let's specify a bean by name uh, which has to be injected to this uh, member variable of ours. We have a post construct and a pre destroy which allows us to specify initialization and destruction methods for our beans. And all these three annotations are from the JSR 250 standard.